Hello, and welcome to Our Devotions, where together we're developing lives with God at the center. I'm Daniel. This is my amazing wife, Amanda. Hello. Today we're going to be talking about rest, using the book of Luke as a launching point. So grab your Bible and jump right in. Rest is an important subject that I don't think gets a healthy uh, look at very often. I think we have people who just want to keep going always and don't rest. And then we have those who want to do nothing and never work and call it rest. And Got so, balance. yeah, I think there's a, a very much a, a lack of balance for so many people. And I was looking and the Bible actually has a lot to say about it. But when I was following Jesus, it came up over and over. In fact, I think I wrote down 11 times where he steps aside to rest. Yeah. And so right now we're in our journey through the New Testament. We're in the book of Luke uh, today I'm on Luke chapter 6, and this is going to be in verse 12. But it came up, I have 11 different references throughout the Gospels where Jesus pulls away. In verse 12 it says, In these days he went out to the mountain to pray all night and continued in prayer to God. And this idea of Jesus withdrawing from the crowds it kept coming. And I have heard people who get upset when somebody else does that. Yeah. And they're like, what do you mean you're not always available? You should be available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. And <laughs> Not even Jesus did that. <laughs> Jesus, not only did he not do that, but he taught his disciples not to do that. Right. And it's, it's this crazy thing where rest is important. And yes, we are supposed to be productive. But even in the beginning, God set up a day of rest. Yeah. And he was like, you should spend more days working than you do not working. But you should spend a day not working. And when the Pharisees begin to call out the disciples, Jesus, and call out Jesus for healing people, he goes, the Sabbath wasn't made to be the master over people. Right. It wasn't this legalistic thing for an extra hoop to jump through. He goes... The Sabbath was actually made for man, right. not man for the Sabbath. He goes, this is supposed to be for you. This is supposed to be a time for you to be refreshed and recovered. And it's important for us to look at Jesus' example and to go, am I taking time to rest and recover? The amount of people that are having panic attacks, that are filled with anxiety, that are, filled, that are burning out, and different things is ridiculously high. You go, why is it? And part of it's because we're not implementing what Jesus showed us, what he demonstrated and what he taught. He says that you need to disconnect from the rat wheel, to, to get <laughs> off, take a moment and to rest and to recover. And that's part of what he set up in the law. It's part of what he set up in creation, the pattern. And it's part of the ministry pattern that Jesus showed. When his disciples, he commissioned them and they went out, mm -hmm. they came back all excited and they're like, Jesus, it works. It works. If we, we prayed for people and they were healed. We yeah. cast out demons and we taught people and they were all excited. And he's like, that's awesome. Come away and rest. Yeah. And he taught this, this pattern. And it's so easy to get caught up and to value the things that we're doing. And so we push rest out mm -hmm. and to go, you know what? It's great, and it can be good things. And this is really, really common in ministry, where we go through and go, but it's for the Lord. You know, like, this is this is for such a good cause. I just need to. Yeah. And he goes, but the rest is important. Jesus modeled it, and it helped bring a recharging. And when we run out, when we run an empty, we do dumb things. Yeah. We respond poorly when we're empty. And I was thinking about this, and it's easy to go, you know what, I want the power that Jesus had, but not recognize that Jesus had the power because he stayed connected to the Father. Because he would stop, disconnect from the craziness, the busyness of the world, the ministry, and he would plug in and spend time with God. And one of the things that I noted, I have too many notes scribbled here for, for one, but what I, one of the things that stood out was Jesus' time of rest wasn't even just doing nothing. Right. It's very intentional. Yes. And he spent time recharging. 
And I think we have a society that even when it rests, doesn't do it well. Right. We have so much entertainment that's available that we can make time disappear and we get done and we're like, you know what? I didn't work, but yeah. did you recharge? Right. And, and he says, Jesus says to his disciples uh, in the Garden of Gethsemane, this is Mark 26, 41 and Mark 14, 38. He says, watch and pray. And when you would find Jesus withdraw, he would withdraw and he would spend time with the Father. He would pray. Right. And I want to encourage you to rest and to pray, to take your cares and to cast them on him. Yeah. In 1 Peter 5, 7, he says to cast your cares on him because he cares for you. In Philippians 4, 6, he says not to be anxious, but with thanksgiving to let our requests be known to him. When we take the time to stop running, racing, and trying to do everything in our own power and go, God, I'm going to bring it to you. And part of this is humbling ourselves before God because it's saying, God, enough of my effort isn't enough. Yeah. I'm going to trust that resting in you will produce more than my effort could produce for me. Yeah. And it's a powerful thing that I think we need to bring back. Yeah, it's so good. Such an important reminder that when we're resting, to be intentional with our rest and not just watch a movie that gets our blood pumping, <laughs> but spending time with the Lord and in prayer. Yes, letting it recharge that. us and reshape us. Well, let's get into our confessions. Yeah, so repeat these after me, okay? I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I cast my cares on God. I cast my cares on God. Because he cares for me. Because he cares for me. I don't have a spirit of fear. I don't have a spirit of fear. But of power, love, and a sound mind. But of power, love, and a sound mind. The same power. The same power. That raised Christ from the dead. That raised Christ from the dead. Lives in me. Lives in me. I am more than a conqueror. I am more than a conqueror. Through him. Through him. God is my healer. God is my healer. And redeemer. And redeemer. I'm the righteousness of God. I am the righteousness of God. In Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. My prayers are powerful. My prayers are powerful. And effective. And effective. God, I thank you that we can have powerful and effective prayers. That you would help us to, to stop and to recharge. To be filled by you, by your love, by your grace, by your power, by your presence, and by a revelation of who you are. That it would overflow in every part of our lives. That we could operate charged overflowing with the fruit of the Spirit. And we thank you for it, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, I hope this has been a blessing to you. If you've been blessed, like, share, subscribe. That helps get the word out. And remember that our challenge to you is to spend time in the word every day so that you can discover all that God has for you. Be blessed. We hope to see you again soon.